Hey, Shalom, Markings of Akama, Kapashan, Jemis, London, give it all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Mechach, Wadash. When I give double honors unto the elders, the apostles of GMS, and Shalom, I'm out there to the hopeful elect, preaching his truth and all sincerity. Back again with another video. <coughs> you know, this is one of these articles that I had kind of saved, right? And I'm sure, um, you know, there was a, there's, there, there had been another article like this, you know, a while back, uh, citing the same thing. So this may be just a, uh, you know, like a recycle, but um, yeah, I thought I'd do a video on it nonetheless. Uh, so yeah, it's from a Twitter feed, right? <clears throat> and you got from the New York Post. Scientists baffled as Earth spins faster than usual, right? And you know, as I'm pretty sure I've done a video on this before, but it's not, you know, just a quick note. You know, it's not that we give credence to, you know, what the site is actually saying. That the earth is spinning faster because we can't confirm that <laughs> but um but what we do know in the scriptures man that time is speeding up okay the days are shorter okay things are you know happening quicker right even though it might not be noticeable you know you check the time and time looks like it's moving as normal but it really ain't things aren't really moving the same speed as they once were and, and it's because it's the the time that we're in Right, we're in the end times, and as as you draw closer to the end, things become more urgent. It's quick; the, the pace is faster, you know. And the whole world is feeling that the years are going by like that, you know. The days are going by, the weeks are going by. We're already halfway through. The, well, gone past halfway through this year. You know, we'll be in twenty three before you know it. You know, if this, if this can 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 make it that far. You know, and it, you know these, <laughs> the time is just flying by. You know, and you know they got these sort of scientists or whatever, you know, trying to, you know, say certain things and whatever. Like I said, no, you know, none of us can confirm any of this sort of stuff. You know, but this is what he's sort of saying. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it says from the NY Post, scientists have been left baffled after discovering the Earth is spinning faster than normal. Making days shorter than usual. Uh, research at Meta said that if the phenomenon continues, it could have colossal effects on technology. For, all right, whatever. Right. So it's not say so not giving credence to the scientists necessarily, but we know it's in the law's power to do such things. You know, the law can do anything, man. And, and I'm gonna grab an example, you know, later on. But um, so we're not, you know, not discrediting it at the same time, but um. We know it's the Most High is doing at the end of the day, you know, regardless of how it's happening. Okay, the Most High is speeding up time per se, right? There is an effect on time right now because we're in the last, the last days. Okay, time is running out. Okay, so let's just go into the scriptures, right? This ain't gonna be a long video. You know, we we'll get the points right. This is Matthew twenty-four verse twenty-one says, "For then shall be great tribulation." Such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor shall ever be. Right, and it's what we've been saying here, you know, beginning of our elders and apostles of GMS, right? That, you know, we're coming into a time of trouble since there's never been, right? And that's all pursuing to Daniel chapter 12 and verse 1. Right, you read on down, right? This world is coming into a time of trouble such as never been. Right, and Matthew 24 is, is reiterating this, right? There's going to be such great tribulation, man. Right, and this world is heading in that direction. Okay, progressively heading in that direction, man. There is no recourse, there's no changing on, on the, the trajectory that it's on. Things are going to get worse. Things are going to get harder, right? And, you know, we're going to come in the time, into the time where Jake is trouble. Okay, our people are going to be suffering. You know, our people are the, are the poorest of all the nations, man. So we're going to suffer, the, you know, the most in, in, in that terms, man, because we're the poorest, man. We can't, um, you know, defend ourselves against what the, the, the price rises and the, the, the lack of uh, food and, and whatnot. Okay, it will, it will affect us before anybody else, man. The time of Jacob's, Jacob's trouble is coming. But also, the world is going to suffer also, man. Okay, the, the, you know, just because, you know, you got people out there with a little bit more money than others and whatever, they're going to get dragged down to, you know, be in this situation and the whole world is going to be engulfed by it. And, the, you know, there's going to be chaos and 
anarchy, right? And it's going to bring everybody down into the into the problems, man. Okay, into this time of trouble. All right, so that's 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 set in stone, right? That's coming. Right? But during this time, right, even now, right? Verse 22 says this, and except those days should be shortened, right? There should be no flesh be saved, right? So the Lord is, is, is shortening the time. Okay, shortening the, the perception of time. Right? The sun and the moon, they still do their thing. But the perception of time, the things, the events, they all happen closer together, man. You know, this might be this might be a bad analogy, but it's just something that just crossed my mind right now. You're driving in a car, right? And you look to your nearest side out the window, right? Everything seems to be moving so much faster on, on the side closest to you than the side on, on, on the opposite side. But the time is the same. <laughs> you know, you're passing the same point at the same time. But the perception of it is that one side's moving faster, right? The perception of what we're having right now is because there's a lot of things happening right now. Because it's so jam-packed of, of judgment, <laughs> you know? This this. Feeling that things are, are are speeding up, you know, things are feeling that they're speeding up. Okay, it's the most side delivering these these judgments one after another, one after another, one after another, because we're in that time. Right, things are speeding up. You know, <laughs> I said the years are just flying by now. You know, it's a bit different. You know, when we first come in this tree, and, and I'm sure the elders, apostles, they are test man. There's, the time the flow is is moving far quicker than it. Did at the beginning of the ministry, you know. So that's 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 how that's how it is, right? So the days are, are being shortened, right? So that there, there should no flesh be saved, but for the elect's sake, it's all happening for the elect's sake, man. Because otherwise, you know, we'd all perish, man. We'd all we'd all we'd all get um, uh, fucked up, man. You know, so the Lord is doing it for our sakes, man, to get us out, right? To deliver us, man. And it's like we're saying, if Esau was allowed to continue and the Lord didn't, you know, intervene and bring all these judgments in to bring this place down, and Esau was just allowed to continue to rule and to rule and to rule and to rule to, to 4,000, year 4,000 and 200 and Star Trek errors and all this bullshit, man. Well, we wouldn't ever, we never, we didn't, we didn't, we would never actually get there with Esau. Esau would have destroyed every damn thing by then, you know? Before then, such is his nature, right? And that would be no good. You know, there would no. Like I said, there's no flesh left to be saved. Right? There's no elect to be saved. All right. So the Lord is like, mm, okay. You know, this, this, the, uh, you know, let's let's bring this to a close now. Esau's time is up. All right. So yeah, the Lord is shortening the days for the elect's sake. So that's what we do know is happening. Okay, regardless of you know the explanation of how, okay, what we do know is that time is shortening. All right. This is Revelation chapter twelve, verse twelve. So therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you having great wrath, because he knoweth he have but a short time. Okay, he's coming to the end of his time, so he's speeding things up. The Most High is making him do things, put things into action. That's why they're so hell-bent on all these agendas, man. You know? WEF is, is, is working on stripping everything from everybody, man. He's so working on, 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 on you know, the, the MOTB and, and, and the way to control you, to create the, 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 all the, the scenarios and situations that are gonna, that's going to get you there. You know? Have you dirt poor and broke? Yeah, he, 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 <laughs> Esau's moving quick. Okay, but again, that's attributed to the Lord, man, because the Lord making him do that. All right. This is First Timothy chapter six, verse twenty it says, "O Timothy, keep that which is committed to thy trust. Profane, avoid profane and vain babblings and opposition of science falsely so called." Right. So again, you know, not that you know we give credence to what Esau's saying about the earth spinning fast and all this, all this stuff. We don't know. Maybe it is, you know, maybe it ain't. But um, what we do know, the Lord is shortening the time, man. So we just stick what was in the scriptures. Okay, we just stick to what is in the scriptures, okay? The Lord is shortening the time. Damn, that's, you know, it's done. Okay, that's what it is. 
Yeah, the why is the house who was you know you know yeah let Esau you know be baffled about that <laughs> you know he trying to understand what's going on we understand what's going on so we ain't gonna worry about that okay the lord is doing it right because his time is up all right we don't, we don't have to sit there and bug ourselves out about how how it's all happening we just know it's happening right the lord said it was going to happen all right let me know what the Lord has the ability to do these types of things, right? And I'm going to get an account here from the book of Joshua. Okay, something similar the Lord did, right, with Joshua, right? So this is Joshua chapter 10, verse 12. So then spake Joshua to the Lord in the day when the Lord delivered up the Amorites before the children of Israel. And he said in the sight of, the, of Israel, Son, stand thou still upon Gibeon, and thou moon in the valley of Ajalon. And the sun stood still, and the moon stayed. Until the people had avenged themselves upon their enemies, is it not written in the book of Jasher? So the sun, so the sun, so the sun stood still in the midst of heaven and hasted not to go down about a whole day. And there was no day like that before it or after it that the Lord hearkened unto the voice of a man, for the Lord fought for Israel. So the Most High stopped the movement of the sun and the moon. Right, so you can, you know, it's fair to say if the Lord can stop things moving, He can speed things up too. He can make things move faster, and 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 do whatever they want, you know, whatever you want to do with them, you know. So it's not beyond the Most High's power to have have it be that's what's happening, you know. It might it might be in it, but like I said, all we, all we know as mere mortals that is is the word of the Lord, and that He said that He will shorten the days. All right, so it is something real that we are feeling, that we are noticing as a as a people. Right, because it's just that time, man. Okay, we could be coming so close to the end now, and like I said, it's just jam packed full of judgments, man. So the feeling of it is, is yeah, it's, it's dense, it's dense right now. Things are happening quick. Okay, so much happening in, in a year now, it's like one moment to the next, and you're, you're at the other side of the year already, you know. And again, it's, it's all down to prophecy, man. All right. So I'm going to close up with this. This is 2nd Ezra chapter 16. Right, this is uh, verse 37. It says, Behold, the plagues draw nigh and are not slack. As when a woman with child in the ninth month bringing forth her son with two or three hours of her birth pains, great, sorry, of her birth, great pains come past her womb, which pains when the child coming forth, they slack not a moment. All right, things are not slacking. That's why it feels like, oh, it's intense. It's quick. You know? It's just, it's just jam packed in it, right? It says, even so shall, the, shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth. And this is what we're feeling, this is what we're witnessing, right? And the world shall mourn, which the world is in a, in a, in a, in a mournful state. Right? Things ain't going right for people, man. There's, there's all kinds of uh, issues and, you know, uh, you know, protests and, and all that stuff going on around the world. Right, people are, are being broken down mentally, physically, financially. You know, they're 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 struggling. All right, so yeah, this world is not in 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 a good place right now. Okay, even though they want to distract you, even though they, you know, they want you to ignore things. You know, just worry about the sports and all this bullshit. You know, they don't want you to really think about it. They want you to ignore it. They want you to hide. They want you to be like the ostrich to put their head in the sand. That's what they want. <laughs> You know, but things are happening. Right? Irreversible things are happening. Okay, <laughs> don't expect you could put your head in the sand and you pop your head up and everything's back to how it was before. They ain't gonna be like that, man. You know, you man gonna end up suffocating yourselves, right? Because that time ain't never gonna happen, right? But anyway, it says even so shall not the plagues be slapped to come upon the earth, and the world shall mourn, and sorrows shall come upon it on every side. Right, sorrows on every side, man. There ain't gonna be no, you know, no relief to be had anywhere. You know, you you're just gonna find yourself in a bad position, man. Because an evil time is coming. Right, an only evil, man. Right, and like I said, it's gonna get thicker. It's gonna get denser. Right, it's gonna be happening a lot quicker. Problems, problems, problems. All right, so that's the feeling, man. <laughs> That's the feeling the Lord is speeding things up, man. Alright, because it's that time. 
you know so you know with that lord witness was edifying and i'll catch you brothers and sisters on the next video man so till next time i say shalom